Good morning. Welcome to Ms. Jones's class. Um, well, at least our video of some of the just the basic rules, procedures, the rituals and routines we have here uh, for either environmental science, AP environmental science or AP research. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. And go over some of the basics of our class. All right, good morning, like I said. Uh, this is also often how I share my screen with the students for our online sessions. So welcome to my class. Uh, what we'll do, just a little short introduction to our class, a little note about our syllabus, our rules and procedures. And for your students, when I went over this with them, I gave them an exit ticket, but We'll leave that off for today. So the syllabus that we have, uh, you have a copy of the syllabus that should have made its way home on the first day or two of class. That was in focus, if you haven't seen it, and that was our first assignment, was for the students to get that signed by you and then take a picture and upload that to focus. Or if they were um, Baldwin Homeroom students, they just had to uh, download that and you probably wrote a note that you had read that and then uploaded that little note to focus because it's on focus and everything's on focus all the assignments all the powerpoints anytime there's a form like the syllabus or the science safety sheet that should have also come home the same day as the syllabus and should have been signed and uploaded to focus by now all of that is on focus uh, so that students can access that at anywhere at any time for study purposes, for homework purposes. It's all up there for them and we're keeping it um, everything on focus just to make it simpler and students aren't ever confused about where they need to go for something. Our classroom goals um, are to understand the processes involved in science and scientific in inquiry to develop our laboratory and analysis skills. Laboratory skills are currently on hold uh, because it would require sharing a lot of equipment and we currently aren't able to do that just for everybody's health and safety. Uh, our next goal is to gain an appreciation for the importance of the environment and the world around you and to understand the underlying principles rather than just trying to memorize facts. Because if you can figure out the principles, then it doesn't matter what sort of scenario you're given, you can understand what's happening and figure out what's going on. And of course, if you're environmental science, one of your goals should be to pass the EOC, the end of course exam. If you're in AP, one of your goals should be to pass the AP exam. For research, if you're students in research, it's very similar. It's to understand the process of research because research is a whole process by itself. And to develop the analysis skills for uh, complex texts, for deciding whether something is an appropriate source, a reliable source or not, uh, a very key skill in the world that we live in to gain an appreciation for the importance of research in the world around you. Um, this is how we find out new things about our world. We do some research on them. We ask questions, we create a method, and we gather and analyze the data. So once again, it's about underlying, understanding the principles rather than just memorizing facts. And for your AP capstone student, for your AP research student, that is to pass the AP. Uh, that will mean their paper. We spend all year writing one paper and we break it down into units that we write sections of our paper, but we continuously go back uh, and analyze the previous section for improvement. And then, of course, they also have 
have a presentation that they have to give about their research before a board of three people, one of which is always me. Usually it's other members here of uh, the staff. So a couple things about my grading policies, late work. Um, points are deducted each day after the assignment's due date, and that's 10% per day. So if a student's assignment is due on Monday, and they don't have it with them, they turn it in on Tuesday, the highest grade they can get is a 90. If they turn it in on Wednesday, the highest grade they can get is an 80, then 70, then 60, then 50. Uh, the due date for each assignment is on focus. And online work, our online work was treated as the same. Makeup work will only be accepted to receive full credit with, if it's within the grace period, and that's the amount of time that they were absent. All the assignments need to be uploaded to focus. For online and in person, uh, you need to be in class on time. If they're late, they are counted tardy, and that's online and in person. If you're absent, you are responsible for your makeup work, and that's online and in person as well. Our main focus this year is fun and learning because that's how we grow. Uh, I do have an open door policy, um, so you can ask me. The best way, of course, is through email after school, and students can ask me questions at any time. After school tutoring is Tuesdays at 2.15, or if you can't make Tuesdays for some reason, it's by appointment. And I've already had some students stay after for that. It's already been great. Uh, students are expected to be respectful and look out for others. They're expected to ask questions and put forth an effort and to come to our class prepared. They should come to class on time every day and do their best every day. There will be consequences for bullying and disrespecting others, as well as for disrupting the class, and uh, especially for um, disregarding lab safety rules. Um, we, don't, we want everybody to be safe and healthy here. And for cheating and plagiarism. So if students copy and paste answers from the internet or answers from another student, they will get zeros for those assignments and they will not be able to make them up. That's for the first time. For the second time, um, then I contact you as the parent to let or guardian to let you know what's going on. And they receive then they then also receive the referral for plagiarism for copying. So questions. The best way uh, to reach me is through my email address, which is Jones M6 at duvalschools.org. That is located on your syllabus that came home with your student, and that is also up on focus. Uh, this was their, your student's first assignment was to read and sign that, and to get you to sign that as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's just a brief look at our classes this year. I want to thank you for uh, coming to our unusual Hope and House, and I hope you guys have a great day.